Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey. It's Unique Divination. How y'all doing today? So I just wanted to make a quick video. I haven't made videos in a while, y'all. For some reason, I just went into a shell. And I became afraid to express myself. And I have no idea why. Because I used to make videos all the time and talk to y'all. Nonetheless, I'm here. Right? And I'm back at it again. But I'm... I want to talk about being a passionate person and how sometimes that passion can be misconstrued. So if you can relate or you have anything to comment about this video, let me know. Um, yeah, so I found out <laughs> I'll be 39 years old, y'all, and I'm really finding out now that I'm a very extreme extremely passionate person and I didn't know that that was looked at as a negative I'm just being me I'm a very dedicated loyal person if I like something if I love it I show a lot of passion for it right so I was a little I started to be taken aback when I started becoming more self-aware and started observing how people respond and react to me and I kept getting you're very very passionate you're so passionate but I feel like it was being used in a negative connotation, so to speak. Um, I also didn't realize that there was something like like highly sensitive people. I didn't know that was a thing either. Um, I pick up a lot of things. I pick up a lot of feelings, emotions. I don't know why. I, it's the gift that I was given, and I'm kind of rolling with it. And to be honest, it's the reason why I became so successful. It's the reason why I became so successful in life was my ability to be very passionate about things that I care about in life. It doesn't matter what it is. If I care about it and I love it, I'm going hard and I'm going to be passionate about that. And, you know, just realizing how people view that to me. Um, I've been trying to be, I'm not going to say judgmental, but just not be off-putting at people being or feeling the way they are when they, you know, call themselves calling me passionate and stuff like that. But um, just observing, and I came to the conclusion that it's just a lot of sucky people in the world. It's a lot of people who are not dedicated to their friends, partners, any relationships that they have. People are out for self. People don't want to give. They don't want to be passionate. They don't want to seem vulnerable. This world has created a lot of cruelty and a lot of harshness in it. And even though I'm a Capricorn, people always think that we come off harsh, but we're really the nicest and the most caring people. Like, I love everybody who I consider in my circle. I would go hard for anybody, you know. Um, I would do it for anybody when I care about people. And it's crazy because, like, I don't have any close friends per se, right? But um, just let me know if y'all experienced that. You know, are you a passionate person and it's been and it's been identified by people? And how do people respond to you? And your passion, um, do they kind of make you feel bad about it? Do they make you kind of feel like you're a weirdo or you go above and beyond? And then like, what do you think about being a highly sensitive person and just picking up on things? Um, so that's been something that I've just been observing as of lately. I would say the last year or so, maybe a couple years in my life. Um, and just realizing that it's a lot of people out here in this world that just don't have the level of passion that I do and, and drive for things that they enjoy I don't know. I just, this is why I kind of stay in my own lane and I do my own thing because I feel like nobody can understand me. And I hate saying that and the six billion people on the planet, but like, if you haven't identified your tribe in that area, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to feel like you're not the only one. So that's why I'm making this. I want to reach out to you guys and I want to hear what you got to say about being extremely passionate and how people don't know how to take that, right? And so once people get to know me, and they, they realize that I'm a go-hard type of person and anything that I put my mind to, they become at ease. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I have no idea why. I don't even want to guess no more. But I, it's just something that I have observed, observed <laughs> um, with me being a passionate, very focused, driven person um, and highly sensitive to people's feelings and emotions and... I really love people. I do. I keep them far away from me because 
Sometimes people are not on the same wavelength as you. They don't have the same discipline, same morals. Um, so sometimes those things factor in, you know, where I would hang out with somebody. But ultimately, I love people. I love new experiences. Um, and I'm just very passionate about the things in my life that I hold dear, near and dear to me. Um, and I wouldn't change it for the world. I mean, you know, I, I would think about it like, why can't I care less about things? But I wouldn't be who I was if I didn't care deeply for, you know, the things in my life. So that's my little spiel. Um, I have the full moon in Capricorn recorded. So I'll probably release that soon, y'all. I'm gonna try to stay motivated and try to put out videos. I may not go live like I want to, but I will be putting out videos, whether it be a celebrity reading or whatever. Just gonna continue to stay tapped in with you guys. And I just will always thank you all for the support and motivating me and pushing me to be a better person, to have more confidence, to have higher self-esteem, to be more secure, release my anxiety. These are, these are all the things that I've worked on during my personal business tenure. And so I wouldn't be able to do the things that I do I wouldn't be able to provide the products and services that I do if there was no growth, you know? Um, and so I'm glad that you guys see my growth, you know, physically, the weight loss, like you can tell I'm on a whole different thought process, paradigm shift, and I'm continuing to grow. It's not over. So I just thank y'all for rocking with me all this time. I appreciate y'all and uh, the best is yet to come. But yeah, comment below about being highly sensitive person or a passionate person and maybe it's misconstrued and what can we do to you know let people know that we're here and we exist like passionate people and highly sensitive people and that you know it doesn't take away from us um we're not taking away from anybody you know we don't have nothing to prove we're just out here really loving the things that we're into and cherishing them um that it, those experiences and those things that are tied with with those situations that we hold near and dear and are passionate about, okay? Talk to you later. Have a good day.